Now let's do that. It'd be cool if I could actually fight. Oh, they're linked. So we, we have to fight all of them at once. That's cool. Well, I'll do cleave in a second. Who do we cleave? Let's see if we can kill the green slime. And I think this is going to be one of those where I do the preemptive healing move. For the sake of not messing myself up. Yep, I am dumb. No complaints. Nothing is broken. Haha. <laughs> okay, what's Swift Cleanse do? Ah, removes debuffs. That's cool. Yeah, it'll become enabled later. Let's see. Okay, so can we do... Yeah, we can do cleave. To the target and a nearby enemy. Never mind. Let's uh, let's hit the green slime again and save up for a rage blade. Taunt. Draw the next three attacks to gully, reducing the damage of each by 10%. Oh. It's kind of neat. Doesn't co cost much either. Uh, we'll have to figure out how to generate shields better though. But yeah, nice part is we've got that healing thing, so these guys actually can't hurt us. I was kind of hoping they'd they'd fight uh, him, but whatever. Uh, let's just keep hitting them. Oh, Swift Cleanse is not a uh, does not cost mana. That's helpful. Let's see. I'll just keep punching this guy. Oh, right. I was going to do Rage Blade. I guess I'll just do Cleave instead. That healing move is ridiculous. Yeah, so let's just do a healing wave on self. Get him back up to full. Good stuff. And Cleave. We could probably do Quake Fest. Yeah! Oh, shoot. The, uh, the healing move is off again. Oh, oh, because they're not nearby. Uh, the cleave didn't actually take effect. Well, that's that's understandable. I am learning, and we won't have to worry about these when we are uh, when we are out of the actual beta and onto the full game. Yeah, no. Now that now that I'm getting used to it, and the animations and stuff, it actually def combat flows much more smoothly than. I think I had initially felt, uh, and so my like worries about it feeling sluggish completely lost now. History of the Iron Outpost, two out of four. The passage appears to be from an old textbook. Shortly after the outpost was complete, the true scale of the mana reserves on the island became evident. Vancelor knew that his small outpost would need to grow to a full garrison if his valuable operation was to be adequately protected. Though... The name never changed. The Iron Outpost became a massive point of military operations in the area. The halls became vast and winding, taking shape around the nearby foothills, often burrowing through them. The number of soldiers stationed there grew exponentially, and the influence of their population soon became evident elsewhere on the island as new towns and camps cropped up throughout. The indigenous population was small and still weak from their struggle with Varus, offering little resistance to the change. Let's see, so when does this game release? Supposedly it releases in uh, about three weeks. I'm not actually sure if I believe that. Um, but if so, that's awesome. I Part of it is it just, this feels like a, a, a fairly polished product as far as like mechanically. Uh, I guess mostly it's the voice acting. Who knows, maybe the voice acting is actually already in the game. Uh, or, you know, mostly in, in production, just post at this point. Yeah, October 3rd. Okay. So I assume I have... I believe I have a, uh, a, a member of the dev team, or at least. Uh, it, uh, yeah, I think I actually have a part of the team in my, in my live chat. I am sorry for being a, a dumb grump. Okay, let's do cleave. I like cleave. Punch this guy in the face. Possibly. Hell yeah. I love your guys' games. You do good stuff. Well, I love Darksiders, now I love this. I don't know if I reiterated it that, but I might as well say it to the... the, uh... people uh, associated with it. I don't know. Did you get them both? Yeah, I got them both. 
Did we get the double kill? I like that. That, that for doing special, like, combo kills or one-hit kills or overkills or whatever, it's just like, yeah, you get a nice little bonus there. So what is the point of this? I'm... <laughs> oh! Is it to avoid the battle? I could be wrong. It feels like there should be something down there. The mysterious cube hums with energy as you approach. An inscription has been etched in the side. Some boxes give. This one takes. Catch if you can. An empowerment awaits. You should give a, give it a piece of equipment, but you're unsure of what would happen next. All right. Well, oh, okay. Uh, let's go with the knockout gloves. Let's get like it, let's get hella punch. The cube is teleported to another part of the dungeon. No, oh my god, let's... Okay, never mind, should have done that. I mean, I'm, I'm fine with it. We'll get it later. We'll live. No! I need those more immediately. Whatever, I mean, it actually doesn't matter. Is it the boxing guy again? It might be. I wonder what his is. It's like a dash? I'll look at it later. Bam! Yeah, so I assume that's to stun. Now is it? Okay, Bandit Brawler is some, somebody completely different this time around. Uh, I'm gonna preemptively do Nature's Boon. It's a bit pricey, so I don't have to worry about it. Now, seeing as I have uh, a member of the team partly in the... Uh, uh, well, a member of the team hanging out in chat. Can you tell me if like the whole game is voice acted or if I should... Uh, Kind of expect that it's it's when it's like plot relevant. Oh, sting! Ten damage, twenty overcharge applies bleed. So sting is just outright better as long as it's not a short fight. Uh, so eleven damage, twenty overcharge. So more overcharge always good. Bleed effect dealing twenty damage over three turns, stacking three times. I will take that. Yeah, I think I'm just going to have to go straight for regular healing. We're taking some hits. I could maybe make it work, but I think this fight's going to be over before we can get him enough overcharge to offset the, the damage. But yeah, we'll definitely want to stack up some extra vials. Oh yeah, I should have kept doing Sting, maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. Don't know if the purest damage... Okay, key vo moments are voice acted. Cool. I mean, it looks like a decent number of them. Yeah, because my fiancé likes to voice act with me, and it's like, it's always that question of, uh, uh, do we have to fill in the, the dialogue ourselves for every other moment? Uh, and some games will, like, you start the game, the first, like, t ten minutes are voice act. Uh-oh. Well, guess I'll find them both. Uh, the first, like, ten minutes are voice act, and then after that it's just like, nope, nobody else will actually speak with you anymore. And it's like, I... Okay. Then I'll read it out loud. But I think it'll be fine. Yeah, I mean, a lot of this game is more about battling than dialogue. Though what dialogue there is, I do I do appreciate. It is not wooden. The voice acting is super nice. Let's see. Do we... Uh... I'm looking forward to seeing the di various actions. It looks like we're just getting abilities dumped on us left and right. Oh, did did the price of wildfire go down, or am I just imagining things? It might I don't know. Whatever. I'll just hit this guy. <laughs> she does so little damage. Uh, whatever. I mean, we'll get the we'll get the the gear gear cube, the mystery cube, the whatever. Uh. As soon as, uh, well, probably before whatever boss there is. Okay. Uh, how close is this thing to death? Not too close. So I can actually afford a heal. I probably should have been thinking about it instead of just wailing on him. Uh, probably healing wave on self. And I'm gonna defend. I hate to kill it before we get the heal off. 
I mean, actually, this would, might just be a good idea to to wait, seeing as he has the... Yeah, let's do parry. Let's defend. We're just going to tank the damage, seeing as uh, we already have some overcharge running. We might as well specifically uh, cast our heals now instead of wasting our limited mana pool because I'm being hasty. Yeah, eventually I'll have more potions. And then we won't have to worry about it so much, but right now... I'm at about half, and I think this is a five-room dungeon, so... I'd prefer... We're on what? Room three or four? I don't know. Whatever. One way or another, party's mostly close to full health. And there we go. Okay. Still no magic box. It'd be a shame if the magic box had actually, like, just ditched me. Oh, and we actually have, uh, multiple ways through now. Alright, History of the Iron Outpost. Okay. As time wore on, other conflicts around the world forced Vancelor to restructure his, uh, allocation of military resources. The Iron Outpost was one of the first major military installations to see dramatic drops in troop numbers. This also coincided with a sudden decrease in the available men in the area. Many of the mines and wells became inefficient or simply ran dry, making the decision to redirect troops elsewhere an easy one. As this happened, smaller factions began vying for the scraps of mana still available on the island. Okay, so we've got that. Is there another one? No. It's just per perpetually shut. Ha ha Woo! That's a longer dungeon than I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be like a five room area, but no, this is not, this is not small. All right, yeah, definitely going to have to be more con uh, conservative here. I thought we only had like two or three more. All right, that's fine. I mean, it looks like uh, not all of these have like five enemies in them. There was a tank in there, but I guess it wasn't linked in. Well, let's use Sting and just keep stacking Sting. Now, did it, it, did it take bonus damage from Sting? It might have. Uh, okay, so taunt is not a universal thing. Good to know. Okay, so let's do Sting on the other guy. Because at this point, it's probably not worth it. Yeah, interesting enough, the the robot on the bottom uh, took extra bleeds somehow. Oh, do I not even have her regular gauntlets equipped? I might not. Interesting question. I don't know, and that scares me. All right, abilities, healing wave. Yeah, that heals for quite a lot, actually. Yeah, okay, we gotta get her, her gauntlets back. I, so this does mean that I will pretty much make sure I always have a couple of spare weapons, just in case. Okay, should be able to kill him with that. There we go. Owie. Well, how far are we from a level? Pretty far last time I checked. Yeah. Eh, eh we'll be okay. What else we got? This mech thing. I was actually hoping I'd be able to fight both. Oh, it's just the eviscerator. Okay. Do mechanical? No, I don't know. Now, do we have anything that increases more... Overcharge, yeah, because if I can get him something that barely does damage, but it gets him 15 over overcharge instead, that would be ideal. Maybe it'll never work out that way, but if I can just get one free heal per battle, I'd be pretty happy. Holy shit, he is going down. Okay, yeah, let's not be uh, let's not be stingy here. 
these enemies are are uh well not chumps but i'm learning the exact process uh at this point let's go for a swift strike it's pretty close to dead And I do have some healing potions to work with me here. But yeah, definitely need that weapon back. The the reduced DPS is is hurting. Okay, spoils of war. Other grunts have been talking to, up to that general since his return, yammering about how he's different. I haven't seen him myself yet, but they know they don't know what I do. The, what real wars do to a man, given time. We've seen some action here, but it's always been safe by comparison. The Iron Outpost has gotten so built up over the years that even if someone did breach out the outer walls, they'd get lost inside. Hell, it never seems the same. Uh, never seems the same twice to me. I've never been. I've been here for a decade. Maybe it's just the madness settling in. Still, I can't blame Xavier for being different. If he is, not after what he's likely been through. Regardless, I don't plan to find out personally. I'll keep my distance. Carlos. It doesn't look like we've got any other goodies here. Okay, you may want to go back to rooms you've been in to find a cube. Hey! The cube is warm to the touch and hums with the same magical energy as it did earlier. Inside the glowing core, you notice the item you gave the cube. It seems different somehow. Woo! Purple knockout gloves. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my double... My base physical damage. Hell yeah! And I assume it's it's done for. Yeah! Well then, so what remains to be uh, completed with this game? Because one of my considerations is just you know labeling this as my full playthrough. Because uh, if if very little is actually going to change between now and the full release, then I might as well just uh, uh, say this is what this would be episode three. Yeah. But if things are going to change in a big way, then obviously I will start over when it actually happens. Anyway. Uh, decades after its construction, the final order has, was given to abandon the Iron Outpost completely. Remaining men on the island was so scarce that no major operation could be viably sustained. The conflicts Vanceler was dealing with elsewhere became full-blown wars, relegating the once critical island to obscurity. As military forces withdrew, the original inhabitants were left to fend for themselves, often contesting with criminal forces, hoping to uncover and extract any remaining sources of mana, no matter what. Uh, no matter the cost, sorry. As this happened, major communication lines with the people were essentially cut off, creating the air of mystery that currently defines the land. Wow. I really like the uh, design for these areas. Drink from the Shrine of Health. Hell yeah! You regenerate health in combat. That's actually even better. Beta save will carry over. I got a few more dungeons to go. Awesome! So yeah, I, I think I'll just play through the game. If I, there was like a little bit of voice dialogue that gets added after the fact, I'll just live. Hello. Hold there. You'll go no further. It can't It can't end here if you tell us where our friends are. Dead, certainly. If not, they'll be after, uh, they will be after we kill you. You shouldn't have come here, outsiders. I'm gonna punch you in the face with my pur purple gloves. Oh, this is good, this is good music. Uh, Honestly, we should probably start using Sting. Do we want to do it on the... Oh, the Warden actually is a known variable. That's interesting. Okay, so that regeneration in battle is going to be helpful. But let's do a Nature's Boon uh, to bolster it up. Okay, Jab, Taunt, Defend. I'm just going to wail on the center guy. It's weird that the Bandit Warden is a known thing. Oh, it's probably because it's a mini-boss that... That doesn't count. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, like, he's not in the journal, so of course not. Alright. So let's sting him one more time, and then we can try that super move. She's got 10. She goes up to 18, which is a bizarre cap for overcharge. I hope it, I hope it gets uh, increased later on. Wait. Uh, okay. Uh... Got a damage shield. I guess we'll start punching through his damage shield. It'll take some time. Anyway, let me see. 
Okay, so abilities. We have Warblade. 59 damage. Oh. I can still hit the Bandit Rogue with it. And let's do... Do we have Scattershot nearby enemy? Yeah, honestly, Barrier Swing is probably the best thing I can pull off. Yeah, it looks like my HP is going to be fine. Uh, did he... No, he did do his, his move. Okay. Oh! But it healed the Gunslinger. That's obnoxious. Yeah, just... Uh... So the... The composers, the musicians for this. Uh, the guys that did the soundtrack are... Clark Powell and Jesper Kidd. I, I listened to a lot of Jesper Kid on my own, but I've never actually heard of Cl Clark Powell before. I'll have to listen to it. I, I want to make sure I got the uh, the soundtrack. We're going to be kind of sad if I didn't actually uh, get the package that came with the soundtrack. I think I did. Uh, I kind of knew what I was getting into, though I guess generally uh, Jesper Kid's music does end up on, uh, on platforms where I can listen. This is definitely a soundtrack I'd, I'd listen to on my own. Oh, that's good stuff. Oh, we've lost the uh, the healing buff. Well, one of the two healing buffs. That's okay. I don't really care. We're about to win. Though, we've still got a little bit more to go, I believe. I love those boxing gloves. They're so goofy. Though, it kind of ruins the whole, like, mystique of the character. She's like, I've got my, like, mis my dad's mysterious uh, gauntlets. Ooh, boxing gloves switches them out. Okay. Let me see. Kind of wish I could uh, pull up the specific map for this area. Oh, Iron Outposts. No, that's just uh, Codex. Is there a button for the map? There might not be one unless I go by. Well, let's run around as uh, the. Let's run around as as the walking tank man. There's a question. Oh my God, are they really? <laughs> How injured is he going to be? Oh, I hope he's hurt. <laughs> oh man, that's magic. Uh, it's, I mean, obviously, that's kind of broken and I shouldn't have used that, but at the same time, <laughs> this guy, he's just like, I'm a punch ya, death. Might want to take a look-see at that, just because. Alright, let's wait until the spikes are gone, so we don't uh, hurt ourselves here. That is great shit. What? Oh, he was stealthed. Okay, I was wondering about that. Alright, well, actions. Can I- I can taunt him. Sure, why not? Might as well get her some, uh, extra stuff for that. I don't, I don't know if it's a guarantee or if it, it's a, a chance. Yep, okay. Looks like it goes for her. Be cool if it was bonus overcharge per hit, but totally understand why it isn't. Okay, hey, we finally got the, uh, the bandit rogues uh, data fully. Okay, so she's got... 10. We could do a scatter shot, but it's kind of pointless. Okay. Let's do another sting. Okay. Obliterate healing wave. Yeah, it'll cost him like 5 mana. This guy's about to go down anyway. Well, okay, I guess we didn't do the healing wave. We'll live. I guess, actually, we're about to level up anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Ooh, ooh, big purple chest, yeah. Hey there, stow your weapons and we'll have no quarrel. I'm not much of a fighter, I'm more of a gambler. I find it a faster and less bloody way to earn gold. Continue. What do you say? You want to try your hand with the Lady Luck? Just a simple coin flip, nothing fancy. Odds are 50-50, I swear, on my honor. Let's gamble. Uh, ready? I'll call it in the air, flips coin. Call it, uh... Heads, tails. Well, seeing as it's going to take a little bit for people to tell me what to do, I'm just going to press up and down and then press A wildly. Yes. 
I lose. Sorry, friend. We can't all be winners. I'll just be taking that now. Uh, attack the gambler. So it's a fight you want. Can't say I didn't expect it. Get them! I wonder if I get my gold back. Alright. Ooh. Oh, no. They're not actually any, any more dangerous. Well, that's fine. Punch the gambler! Sting! Yeah, I am curious if I get my money back. I'm calling probably. But you never know. Uh, let's see. Let's just do a jab. Sore loser attack the gambler. No! EXP! I, I am... I am a murder hobo through and through. And I will react appropriately. Okay, can I do cleave? I can do cleave. We can just do rage wave. Let's do rage wave. Let's do uh, nature's boon. Because these guys actually kind of hurt. Uh, and we want to do scatter shot off the middle, dude. Okay. Do we okay, we do have the uh Okay, we did actually take out the gambler. Uh let's just gut punch this guy. Is it enough damage? Yeah, just enough damage. Cool. Yeah, these guys hurt. But that's what I get for uh pi picking a fight with uh with somebody after well, I deserve this. But, everybody loves up hero perks unlocked. Ooh. And we got a cheater's ring. <laughs> the gambler won't be hassling anyone anymore. I am an asshole, but that's okay. Uh, so, perks. Hello. Okay, so we have six points remaining. We might actually be able to switch between them, too. So, obliterate two. We'll now do bonus damage if the target is ignited, ignited or poisoned. Attack power by 3.5. Physical and magic defense by 4.6. Defense matrix grants an extra over 5 overcharge when hit. Stamina, crit chance. Um, I'm leaning for physical or magic defense. Th that might not be that helpful right now. Let's do defense ma defensive matrix. It might be a good way to farm things. And stamina. Okay, so what's she got? So initiative, begin battle with 23% haste for one action. Oh. Reinforced knuckles, crit chance, hate by, haste by 2.3. Okay, so yeah, pretty basic stuff. Scatter shot will deal an additional 4 damage to a nearby target. I'm leaning for... Increases attack power by 25% for one action after being struck by a critical hit. Or just... Mm, I don't know how often we get crit. Let's do haste up and reinforce knuckles for the time being. I'll mess with them later. Oh! Second wind. Always. Absolutely. And start strong. Okay, so he will heal by 15 health after every battle, which... I wish everybody had that. Damn. Oh! Oh! Never mind, I now suddenly have to think about things. Oh, can carry over 10 overcharge from one battle to the next. I didn't even realize there was a second second tree. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. And it looks like uh, we get mastery too. So we go up to like 100 points. Not sure how that works. Yeah, so his are useless. What's, what's her guardian thing? Defend reduces damage taken by an additional 10%. Okay, so that's when defending. Evade, physical resistance. Okay, embolden. Being attacked will award 20 overcharge. So haste up. You know, I'm actually, I'm going to go with those. Uh, embolden. It's a 10%, but that immediately means I can retaliate with a, a strong move. Okay, so what's nature? Yep, okay, taking these off. Okay, recuperate. At the end of combat, heals the party for 9 health each. Or preemptive healing. 
Uh, heals the most damage ally for nine, uh, 17 health over three turns at the start of combat. I'm leaning for recuperate. Let's go recuperate. Uh, it might not be as good, but generally the damage is kind of spread around. Um, preemptive healing would be the other one. Uh, and that would singularly bring people up. But I think we want to go for uh, quantity over direct quality, sort of. Oh, dungeon skills. Revitalize. Restores party's health by a moderate amount. Uh, combat abilities. Ah, so we get four total actions and 12 abilities for probably each character. Yeah, it looks like it. Plus maybe more. More, I don't know. Okay, uh, I don't think I've found any gear yet, but we might have something over here. Oh, we we turned off the uh, the horror trap. Oh, but that might. Yep, we gotta leave the trap on. Because if the trap's off, uh, we can't get in the door. Is it really this guy? And he's already bleeding. Wow, these guys just are really unlucky with the whole trap and well trap thing. Yeesh. Oh, and we stunned him. Hell yeah. Well, I guess we'll just punch him. I mean, he's he's dead meat one way or another. It's interesting that we're knocking them out. We're not actually killing them. Well, I mean, that's fine. Now, let's let's see what we got. Uh, oh, we're locked. What? Scraps of hide. A new broadsword. A ring. Bunch of other junk. And... Uh-oh. Um, apparently, it did I mess up? Huh. Max level is 15 now, sadly, until the release in October. I mean, that's only three weeks away. I, I think I can live with that. That is a bug. Sorry about that. Okay. Hey, as long as somebody knows about it. Let's see if I can save and quit and come back. Uh, yeah, lever on the left. Unfortunately, the lever on the left is, well, out of reach. Let's see if I can uh, quit out and come back in.